Here's a possible perfect world scenario. And if it went around globally, it would even be that much more special. But if we funneled some of this money down to the bottom class that have good ideas that can't get funded because you don't get that opportunity. Opportunity tends to stick with it in the upper middle up upper to middle class. You'll never ever see it funneling down. So what I see is if we use the genius at the bottom, you got a good idea that can employ a lot of people that should get funded. If it does something to clean up our planet, be the solution to some of the problems we have, should be funded. Shouldn't injure anybody. Shouldn't cause any health problems. You know, you have to be responsible and accountable for what you put out in the world. So, I mean, if you start a manufacturing company and you put some poison on there, not a good idea. So, only ideas and concepts that actually heal the planet is what we really need. We need to get to work on that top priority. Um, but if you if you start a company that has that major goal in it and it employs other people, then the owner of the company shares equally with the workers. You all get the same wage. And if there is any profits to be made, tax the friggin' shit out of it. And so that supports your government system. No welfare system. You know, if, if, if you find yourself on a welfare system, you've got to understand the only reason that you have a welfare system is because there's a sign of a problem within society. It's not the one person that needs to be on a welfare program. It's the sign that there's something wrong within your social system. So government needs to be paying attention to the first guy that needs to be on any type of social program. Because there should never ever be a need. There, it's always going to be a sign of um, something being suppressed or a problem that we don't want to look at. They should be our top priority. As soon as anybody needs to be on that welfare system, that's the time all of society needs to say, what's going on here? And not necessarily look at the person, but look at the person in relationship to society. All of it is, is mixed together. They're both mirrors of each other, and we can't really recognize that. So I'm not in, in, in sponsorship of supporting a social system, but more supporting a system that m prevents any type of social system. Good health care should be uh, available to everybody, but the key is is that you get rid of everything that makes us sick, what would we be sick of? <laughs> you know, if we actually did the right thing, we wouldn't get sick. So any good health care you know, as soon as you start to see any illness, then you got a sign again that there's something wrong within your society. You know, it's like if you got cancer showing up in your neighborhood, then there's something wrong in your neighborhood that needs to be looked at. So it's not like we need to fund people to, you know, take lots of pills and shit for their cancer. It's you should be able to access what's causing and, and cure that cause. Not take a pill, but look at the causes and cure the causes within your environment. That is a better health care system. That creates and sustains healthier communities. Um, so that's where I think that we, sh we should be doing is, you know, let's start a whole pile of new businesses. Start from the bottom up employ people. If you can employ a lot of people and and your plan is to equally share the profits with somebody and you're willing to have the corporation that you start taxed on and, and the workers don't pay any income tax. The employer doesn't pay any income tax. Nobody pays any income tax except for the corporation itself. Um, then you'll see some massive changes going on. Um, there was uh, one other thing too is 
um, as long as we keep our corporations small, we don't run into that greed mentality. We don't. You won't have a need for stock markets, and the stock market is your poison. It is. You know, the, everything that supports everything wrong will be found on Wall Street. We already seen that they already screwed up. Now they want their system back, only to screw up again because they haven't changed their insanity yet. And the insanity is, is get rid of the stock market. You don't need it. If we're doing things right, you don't need to make money off of money. You need to make money off of being productive, helping each other. You know, and, and and we have to look at there are people that need other people. For well, example, I am disabled, but it doesn't mean that I can't work. It means that you need to listen to me. I need to be funded to be productive in the way that I am meant to be funded. And if if we provide that help for everybody that's on any form of disability, all disabilities are curable as long as we unfold the potential within each one. So we do need to have some understanding for some people that have been suffering because of all the bullshit that's gone on. But eventually in time you won't see anybody that's, that can't be productive. I mean even if you're 90 years old you know, do something you love and you'll never work a day in your life and you'll keep yourself young. So it doesn't matter what age you are. If you're loving your life, being productive to the world and not consuming, you'll be healthier. It's a win-win. I could be wrong. But at least I'm trying to stimulate the conversation. So, you know, tear that idea apart and come up with something that's an improvement on that. I'm looking for some ideas. Peace out.